The single arm kettlebell swing is absolutely key to mastering kettlebells. So let me show you how it's done. From here when I set up, I wanna have the kettlebell with the handle directly in line with my ankles. Now, reaching down with one arm, standing up into like a single arm deadlift. So from here, I'm gonna gently start to swing. Note that my free arm tracks with the kettlebell. From here, extending my hips, locking my knees back, keeping my shoulders square. Exhaling on the way up. I only wanna bring the kettlebell as high as my shoulder. The other detail here, which is key to getting this right, is to not chase the kettlebell. When we stand all the way up, it's important that we retract our shoulder blade, keep our shoulder blades square. Also, I get my hand to track with the kettlebell so that when I go to change, it's ready and available. So from here, back is straight, exhaling at the top, squeezing glutes, bracing core, and keeping our arm relatively relaxed. Remember, your hand is a hook, your arm is a rope. So when we go through our motion, we're super efficient. Kettlebell, high pull. Now this is our halfway step to be able to do the snatch. It's a little bit different from the swing as you have to be a lot more active through your traps, shoulders, and also pulling back through the elbow. Let me show you how that's done. Starting in the same position as the swing. From here, I start with a swinging action, but then I'm gonna become more active through my elbow, still keeping my body upright. Pulling my elbow back, and letting the kettlebell gradually get higher until it is just above my shoulder height. You'll notice I'm drawing my elbow back as if I was doing an elbow strike. Then I'm actively pushing the kettlebell forward, keeping my shoulders square, tucking hips under, and bringing my other arm up too. From here, hips forward, elbow back, back straight. Super important that when we do this, we're pulling our arm wide of our head, we don't wanna knock ourselves. And then when we're in this position, we're gonna actively push the kettlebell back to the center to come back. Now this is gonna accelerate the bell, which is gonna make it a little bit harder, but that means you're gonna to have to have a bit more hip drive, bring the elbow up higher than the hand and pulling back at the shoulder. That way you come to a nice top position, the kettlebell is slightly above the elbow, posture is straight, and then back down, and that's the high pull. The kettlebell snatch is the number one move to help improve your grip as well as your cardio for BJJ. But it's not the easiest move. It is a natural progression from the high pull to the snatch, but there are three key details you have to factor in. Let me quickly show you how not to do the snatch. And this is what I see a lot. People think the snatch is a swing to overhead position, but that's not true. They bring their arm all the way out, and expect that that's gonna end well. It doesn't, as you can see, very clunky. What we wanna look at when we're doing the kettlebell snatch is we're leading in in a high pull, and then we are loosening our grip to catch in the top position. Also, when I lower the kettlebell, I slightly twist through the shoulder, soften my elbow, and internally rotate here. I'm loosening my grip, so one, my grip doesn't burn out, and two, so I have a smooth transition from the high pull to the overhead position. Notice I really explosively extend my hips while pulling high with the elbow. Now, here are the key details. Making sure I'm relaxing my grip at the top, but I'm not letting the kettlebell fly over my shoulder. Slowly internally rotating here and making sure that my thumb is pointing behind me here. The reason why I do that is I wanna make sure that the kettlebell is taking stress through my wrist, not through my palm, because that is a really good way to tear the skin. That's not what we want. So guys, having a look. From here, high pull action, high pull punch. Once you've mastered the swing and you've mastered the high pull, you can progress to the kettlebell snatch. And then, you'll be on fire. So that's it guys. Make sure that you master the single arm kettlebell swing before progressing to the high pull. Know that the high pull is far more active through the upper body. But once you're able to coordinate that, the snatch is only a small step away. Whenever you're doing any of these movements, ensure that you are not hyperextending through your hips so your lower back feels just fine. If you can do this, you're gonna find massive gains in your grip, shoulders, 
core and cardio.